Welcome to my lecture online. Here are some more examples and you can see that the first two on the right, the radicals look exactly the same. You have the square root of x, the square root of x, the square root of x. So you can see that we could simply either factor out the square root of x or simply add the numerical coefficient. So 4 minus 3 is 1 plus 12 is 13. So we can say that this is equal to 13 times the square root of x. Or if you don't like that, what you could do instead is simply factor it out, the square root of x. So this is equal to the square root of x times what's left. We have a 4 minus 3 plus 12. And of course, then when you combine them, 16 minus 3, that would be 13. So we get 13 times the square root of x. So either way, we'll get you the same answer. Here again, notice we have the cube root of x and the cube root of x. So at least we can see that they're the same, they're alike. So that means we have 5x cubed minus 8x cubed. So this can be written as 5x cubed minus 8x cubed when we factor out a cube root of x. And of course, when you combine these, that is equal to minus 3 times x cubed times the cube root of x. And so that's how you simplify that one. Now here we have to do a little bit of extra work. Notice that they don't appear to be the same, but they can be rewritten as follows. We can rewrite this as the square root of x to the fourth times x, because when you multiply you get back x to the fifth, plus 3x squared times the square root of x. Now what we can do here is we can factor out, or we can say the square root of x to the fourth is simply x squared, so this can be written as x squared times the square root of x and then plus 3x squared times the square root of x. Put a line there so we can don't confuse ourselves. And now you can see that what's underneath the radical is the same. They also have the same index. So now we can combine them. x squared plus 3x squared. Well, that's equal to 4x squared times the square root of x as the final simplified form for that. And then here's the same thing. Notice we have an x cubed, 4x to the fifth, x to the 7, at first it doesn't look like you can add these, but if you do a little bit of work, it will look like this. We get x squared times the square root of x squared times x, minus 3x times the square root of 4x to the 4th times x, and plus 2 times the square root of x to the 6th times x. Notice the square root of x squared is simply x, so we can multiply that times x squared, so we get x squared times x times the square root of x. Again, the square root of x squared is simply x. Minus 3x times, notice the square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of x to the fourth is x squared, times the square root of what's left, which is simply x. And plus 2 times, notice the square root of x to the sixth is equal to x to the third times the square root of x. All we have to do now is simplify things a little bit. So this is x cubed times the square root of x minus 6x cubed times the square root of x plus 2x cubed times the square root of x. Now you can clearly see that all the radicals are exactly the same. So now we can simply add and subtract them. We have an x cubed minus 6x cubed plus 2x cubed. 1 plus 2 is 3 minus 6 is equal to a minus 3x cubed times the square root of x. And that's then the final simplified form. And I guess I do need an equal sign here, and I probably need an equal sign there. And that is how it's done.